Well, right now, a vote among CATS employees could have a huge impact on those in Charlotte who rely on the bus to get around. Charlotte transit workers are weighing in on whether they go on strike after negotiations on a new contract fell through. Voting for the strike began this morning and will go through this evening. The union represents close to 500 bus drivers in the Queen City. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre shares more. Operators should be happy to come to, to their place of employment. And instead we have operators leaving. So what happens with this contract will decide whether people go or stay. A strike is on the table for CATS bus drivers. Deborah Franklin, now a retired bus driver, worked for CATS for 14 years and is a former union officer. She says in her entire career, there's never been a strike authorization vote. We have come so close, but um, most of the time we give in. And so this is the first time that they are fighting back. Today, the bus drivers are making their voice count after failed to contract negotiations between the smart union, which represents the operators and the company that manages them, RAPT Dev. The system doesn't run without the bus operator. We're the most important and sometimes the priorities are, are wrong. Uh, we should be focusing on what the bus oper operator needs. A successful vote could have a significant impact on bus routes, a concern for riders dependent on public transportation. I definitely require this to get to work, to get to the grocery store. Any appointments I have, I use the bus. Bus drivers say they are concerned about safety, health insurance, job security, and pay. Starting salary for bus drivers is $18.77 an hour. Anybody who does a job deserves to be paid fairly for that period, most especially bus drivers. People don't consider the extra risk they take when they drive around these streets at night. Katz is aware of the strike vote, but due to state law is not involved in contract discussions. It says, quote, Katz encourages both parties to reach a mutual beneficial agreement so we can continue to serve our community. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.